Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Beast. <laughs> Peekaboo, I see you, because I'm YouTube Beast Famous Now. Shimmy, shimmy. Available in 2020, the album, Dad AF. <clears throat> Rock on, gold dust, woman! Boost! How are you guys doing today? Oh my god, I am having such a good day. Look at my little, uh. I just went and reviewed the Carrie, like the movie, you know, with Sissy Spacek. They're all gonna laugh at you! <laughs> the Carrie Frappuccino at Starbucks, so go check out my review channel today. Um, it was quite a fail. <laughs> it was a total fail. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It was a fun review. I had a really good time doing it. Um, but don't you love my blood splattered cup for Halloween? It says coffee and crime time. I got it on Etsy. I got like four of them on Etsy because I was obsessed. But anyway, how are you guys doing today? Today, this video is sponsored by a new fragrance and it is called <laughs> Drama and BS. And it smells, whoo, ooh, it stinks. It smells just like drama and BS. <laughs> and strawberry farts. But anyway, um, no, that total joke. Not sponsored. <laughs> and don't wish to be by that one. But anyway, um, let me put on some lip gloss so that we can get right into this video. Listen to that sound. <gasps> Manny, what did you do to your components? <laughs> Family friendly. Okay. Let's uh, get right into this video. Today we're gonna talk about, oh my God, Jacqueline Hill and Trisha Paytas again. Now, if you didn't watch my video, <laughs> thank God it didn't break. If you didn't watch my video yesterday, go watch my video from yesterday. My video yesterday was about how Trisha Paytas came out on an Instagram story and she was coming for Jacqueline Hill. And I included the Instagram story in there as well. Going into that video, I have to tell you, I did know that Trisha Paytas and her sister talked a lot about Jaclyn Hill in a podcast that she did, okay? Now, part of the reason why I didn't include that in my video yesterday was because I didn't want to listen to the whole podcast because so many people had sent it to me. They sent me little clips here and there and I heard enough of it, but I didn't know it in the context and I didn't want to listen to the whole thing. Sorry, I can't be bothered, okay? I'm not that interested, right? But I am interested in this whole kind of like starting back and forth drama between Trisha Paytas because for some reason, Trisha Paytas has a huge issue with Jaclyn Hill, right? And it kind of seems to go back to this whole thing when Trisha was like hanging out with John Hill. But it seems even bigger than that because she's always saying that, you know, like Jaclyn's saying stuff behind the scenes and her friends are telling her this and her friends are telling her that and on and on and on. So I covered that in my video yesterday, okay? And I said in my video that Trisha coming for Jacqueline was kind of a safe bet because she knew that Jacqueline Hill was not going to clap back at her, right? <laughs> or so I thought. Well, Jacqueline clapped back in the way that Jacqueline always claps back, okay? And it was interesting because Trisha called uh, Jacqueline a punk. She said she's a punk behind the scenes. I will say this, okay? Instead of these, like, uh, the subtweeting and the kind of, like, shading people indirectly, would you not just live if just once, like, one of these people just came out and just, like, tweeted out something, like, or, like, did a, I don't know, did, like, an Instagram story and just looked right at the camera and said, hey, Trisha, shut up, you know, or something like, but they won't, okay, and she knows it, and so she could keep on coming for these people, even, like, Gabby Hanna just, like, got on the computer and, like, was, like, m a, typing up a storm and showing all this kind of stuff and receipts and whatever. I mean, none of them will just say what they really want to say, which is, Trisha, <laughs> shut up. But I'll tell you, a lot of you said it in the comment section yesterday. So anyway, um, I'm sure a lot of people are like, that's what we think of you, Peter. Shut up. We'll say it. I can hear it. I'm not, I, you think you're the first person that's told me to shut up? You, you wouldn't be. But listen, okay, it's 2020 and that's the year of me being too much. <laughs> so I'm not shutting up. I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not shutting up and I'm not going to stop singing. But anyway, so Trisha had all this that she came out and said in this Instagram story, right? That she had already said the majority of it on this podcast. So she was kind of coming out and saying it again. Because I said, like, I didn't know where this came from, why she was saying it, okay? So I will say this again. Even though she said it in her podcast, there, she had said it once. She had said, oh, yeah, everything she said yesterday, she had already said in her podcast and more, okay? Which maybe what she's trying to do is feed, like, attention to her podcast. I have no idea. Maybe that was what she was trying to do, was drive traffic to her podcast. 
And that's why she brought it up on the Instagram story because I didn't see between the podcast and the Instagram story anything that Jacqueline Hill had done to instigate this. I really didn't unless she was talking behind the scenes which is kind of what Trisha made it sound like, that like Jacqueline had told somebody that she was gonna sue Trisha or something. But I didn't see any evidence of that on Twitter or Instagram or anywhere else, that Jacqueline had come out and said that she was gonna sue Trisha. So apparently she must have said it behind the scenes, or that's what I'm assuming from what Trisha said. And then Trisha said, you can't sue somebody for having an opinion about a public figure, which quite frankly is actually true. So um, she knows that, okay? So let's get into that. I did like though, I wanna say this yesterday, that Trisha said she's never had anybody sign an NDA in her life. And you know, I've talked a lot about NDAs lately. And if you don't know what an NDA is, an NDA is a non-disclosure agreement. And basically, they can have different stipulations on how you sign them. I've never signed an NDA in my life, and I wouldn't, quite frankly, ever sign an NDA. Um, the things that they say is that you won't, like, share anything that you've seen or anything that you've heard. I was sitting there, I was like, have I ever signed an NDA? We actually, my husband and I and a friend, um, my husband is really, really good friends um, with somebody. She was actually going to do a video on my channel, like, two years ago. Do you remember that? I should call her up and ask her if she wants to do it. But she was a hair and makeup person directly with Britney Spears and the dancers on two of the world tours. And so we got to do a background tour. We signed a contract, but I don't think that it was like a non-disclosure agreement. So if, if that was a non-disclosure agreement, I, maybe it was. I don't know. But anyway, I mean, I've never shared what I saw and I didn't see anything anyway. So it wasn't, I mean, I saw Britney and I saw the dancers and I saw the background, but that was it, you know? But anyway, um, and I got to dance on stage with Britney Spears. I did! I was 39 years old and it was to... I want to go, oh, oh, oh. Anyway, it was so cool. It was one of the biggest memories of my life, true story. Anyway, I almost didn't go up there. I was like, I am too old to be going on stage with Britney Spears. Like, this is literally how I felt. Like, literally seconds. The guy was, like, looking at me, and he was like, come on, come on, come on. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm, what am I? What? And then I, I just got up there, and I was like, you know what? Life is too short. Get up there if you're 70. Who cares, right? So anyway, um, but no, I've never signed a non-disclosure agreement and I've never been asked to sign a non-disclosure agreement by any YouTuber that I've ever met. My battery died, <laughs> which was okay. I'll tell you why. It seems to happen every single day because I go and do my review and then I forget to like come home and change my battery out and it's usually my vlog <laughs> battery from my night before. <laughs> but it allowed me to get some more lip gloss because it was on the floor. <laughs> You can never have enough lip gloss. You can never have enough hands back. What is it? Sh shoes and handbags from Absolutely Fabulous. Anyway. So, anyway, the NDA thing. Okay. I have never signed an NDA. I've never been asked to sign an NDA. You know, Trisha Paytas had me into her house. I never signed an NDA. She never mentioned it. She never, she was friendly. She answered the door and she was like, hi, how are you? It was, she never asked me to sign an NDA. So I don't know about other people. When she said, I've never had anybody sign an NDA because I have nothing to hide. I was like, okay, I respect that. I do, you know? Like all of these huge YouTubers out there and maybe some not so huge YouTubers that constantly are having people sign NDAs. That to me is always like, what do you have to hide? And I and I thought it was kind of funny that Trisha called that out when she's so quick to defend Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. Two people that I have heard are people that sign have people sign NDAs, especially Jeffree Star. I mean, we know Jeffree Star has people sign NDAs, right? So if that's the case and she's saying that, then basically what she's saying is that Jeffree Star, she had directly said that Jeffree Star has things to hide that Shane Dawson has things to hide because they have people sign NDAs. I'm just saying, like, I mean, is that what she's saying? So anyway, so this went on yesterday and I did the video about it and whatever and everybody had their opinions and blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, so then today, where's my phone? <laughs> Hello? Oh, here it is. My receipts, Whitney. Whatever you want, anything you want from baby, Listen, I am so tired of these YouTube singers like Trisha Paytas and Gabby Hanna. I'm about to really, truly put out an album. Okay, don't think I won't. So anyway, um, so Trisha Paytas, um, so then, <laughs> Trisha Paytas, I can't get off. Okay, so Jacqueline Hill, are you ready? In true Jacqueline Hill fashion, she tweets out her response, her clap back. Are you ready? Now this is interesting because yesterday in my video, I said, at what point do you evaluate, are you the company that you keep, okay? I think I said, I think that's almost like a direct quote from my video, right? Jacqueline Hill, after three days of not tweeting out, she tweets out today, <clears throat> who remembers their parents saying, birds of a feather flock together, because damn, it's true. 
And then she says, what are other things your mom used to tell you all the time? My mom would say to me every day, you catch more flies with honey. That was her reminding me to be sweet. And it's interesting because Jacqueline goes in here and she responds to a lot of people. Um, Ashley Kyle, drama channel of the world. Hey girl, what's up good Judy? She said, well, Trisha got under your skin a little bit, huh? <laughs> Everybody's assuming this is about Trisha. I believe it's about Trisha too. Um, Crystal, hey Crystal, she said, uh, your class, Trisha is trash, which Trisha actually posted a picture on her Instagram story, and she said, it was like a dumpster, and she said, and it said, uh, it said no trash or something on it, and it was like a recycling bin, I think, and she, and, it, and she said, guess I'm not allowed here, or something like that. You know, like, that's kind of, like, this is the point to me, where honestly, it's like, Mm, you know, a lot of a lot of people, especially women, really relate to Trisha Paytas and like things that she's shared on her journey. This is where, to me, like the trolling is kind of sad, honestly, because I've had so many people reach out to me and say, you know, Trisha has shared so much of her journey. She was somebody that was really honest about just wanting to be famous, just wanting to be validated, just wanting people to love her. I so relate to that. But, like, all of this antics that she has pulled the last couple of years, I've had to stop following because, because of that. And it makes me really, really sad because I think to some degree, Trisha really was an inspiration. And maybe she still is to a lot of people out there, you know? I think the majority of the people that follow her today follow her for the drama and the hype and all that kind of stuff that goes along with it, right? But I think that there was a moment, and I say this about everybody, when Trisha really, truly was. Like, I mean, I know people are like, she's been trolling for years. Yes, I know that she's been trolling for years. But back in the day, she did a lot of some very real videos as well in there, you know? And I think she inspired people and she motivated people because they thought, you know, maybe one day I can, like, have what Trisha has. And she's worked herself up from nowhere and had all this, you know, maybe I can have the same thing too. So when she is self-deprecating and she refers to herself as trash, I think that's sad, okay? I think that's sad when anybody does it. I didn't like it, and I've talked about this for a long time, when Shane Dawson is self-deprecating. I don't like that. I don't like that self-deprecation. And a lot of YouTubers do it, and they're like, like, when, like, like this is a younger generation thing, when they, people say, like, you know, like, I'm literal trash. Don't ever say that about yourself, right? You should be saying things to lift yourself up and believing them to be true instead of putting yourself down inside your head. What is that about, right? Unless that's her, like, saying, well, everybody believes it anyway, so I'm just going to say it and go along with it. I, I still don't, like, that's not something I like. So, anyway. But Crystal says, your class, Trisha, is trash. She only goes after those that she knows are better than her. Those that are more talented, more successful, prettier, inside and out, more class, more wealth, monetarily, spiritually, and in relationships, etc. She's simply a vile, jealous person. And somebody responds and says, truth. Um... It's somebody, oh, there, since she asked for, like, statements that your mother told you, somebody said, you don't win today's game with yesterday's points. <laughs> Are you ready for the comment? Jacqueline said, ugh, that one hits deep. But I don't think that's necessarily just about Trisha, but, that, I mean, that is a good one, you know? Um... And someone said, I literally tell my children this all the time. Oddly enough, I said this to my BFF earlier today about a, another messy YouTuber. I highly suggest you ignore her is what someone said. So someone else said, my mom also said, if you lay with the stray dogs, you are bound to get fleas. And Jacqueline said, that's so direct <laughs> with the crying eyes emojis. <laughs> They're all going to laugh at you. And someone said, that's the tweet you choose to reply to. And you want to talk about birds of a feather, LMAO, high pot, meat kettle. And someone said, uh, do you even know the meaning behind pot, meat kettle? Because that ain't it at all. And I totally agree with that statement. It's not. I mean, it doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't have anything to do with the birds of a feather thing, right? So, what? Anyway, people keep on going on down here and they're saying all the things that their mothers taught them. If you lie with dogs, you'll wake up with fleas, basically. Okay. But do they say other stuff about Trisha Paytas down here? Because when I was reading it, I saw a bunch of stuff about Trisha Paytas. So anyway, someone said, I brought you into this world. I can take you out of it. And Jacqueline said, oh my God, yes, it's so dark. And then, did Jacqueline respond to any more? I don't think she responded to any more. But anyway, um, oh, here it is. Someone said, the shrimp that falls asleep is taken by the river. <laughs> I've never heard that one. <laughs> never, okay? On, never on a good Sunday in October have I ever heard that say, Satan. The shrimp that falls asleep is taken by the river. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> to this day, I don't know what she meant, but I swear she would say it in Spanish. Oh, maybe it's like a Spanish thing. Um, and Jacqueline said, I think your mother and I would get along. Because <laughs> you're both shrimps. I don't get it, girl. What? Because you're sleeping on that couch half your life away. No, I get what it means. Okay? It means if you fall asleep, you're gonna, the river's going to take you down, take you away. Why are no, more people not responding to this about Trisha Paytas? Trisha Paytas! She's talking about Trisha Paytas! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I just want the fight to start. Do you sometimes know, like, seriously? Like, they put themselves out there. Like, Trisha yesterday when she was, like, up in the camera kissing it and all that kind of... And all that kind of... And all that kind of stuff. She's wanting to fight from Jacqueline so bad. For whatever reason. I don't know why. <laughs> Gabby, hey girl. Gabby Hanna put a whole song out about you. Okay? Why don't you go over there after Gabby Hanna? Jacqueline Hill should do nothing to you. She probably is. Jacqueline Hill is probably like trying to figure out which friend like told on her. <laughs> That's so me, right? <laughs> Who did I say that to? That I was going to sue her. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to sue her. Jacqueline was probably talking to Jeff, uh, Jeffree Star and said that, God knows when, six months ago. And Trisha wants Jacqueline to know that she and Jeffree are close. That's what it is. There's some subliminal message that she's sending or she's trying to drive traffic to her podcast or she's trying to drive traffic to her channel or whatever. Now, I will tell you, I went over to Trisha's Twitter just moments before I started this deep investigation video of the world to see if um, Trisha had said anything about this in response. <laughs> and she hasn't. Four hours ago, she said, posting toilet paper in my pussow <laughs> content all week on OnlyTrish.com. And there's more than just toilet paper in my bootylicious donut hole. I think you should get your coin however you want to get your coin, okay? But don't ever expect that I'm going to be starting any kind of site where you're going to see me spreading these cheeks or any other cheeks, okay? With stuff, okay? Raspberry jelly from the donut holes coming out. <laughs> or chocolate delight. It's not happening, okay? It's not. Stop asking for it. <laughs> I was actually thinking about this the other day. I'm gonna put up a poll right here. If I started an OnlyFans, who would who would subscribe to it? <laughs> I really just wanna I wanna know. No, be honest though, okay? No, this is drama class. You have to be honest, okay? Like if you if you like be honest and put it up there. How much would I make it? I would make it five dollars a month. Well, maybe ten. Anyway, ten dollars a month. Five dollars ten dollars a month. You only have to subscribe to one month though, okay? Let's just put all that up there. Anyway, Trisha hasn't said anything back. Now she did post a video um up on her YouTube channel, and I think it's called Addressing the Toilet Paper Situation or something. And she did just come out with a song called OnlyFans. So let me put this pull this up for you, and we can tell you how much her toilet paper video got. Her only fan official music video came out, oh, two days ago. This is, must be why she's, uh, all of these YouTubers that are starting all this drama up, supposedly, we have music coming out, and didn't Trisha accuse Gabby of coming up with drama because she had a song coming out, and then literally the same time that Trisha stirs up all this drama is when she puts a song out. So Trisha's song came out two days ago. It's called Only Fan of Official Music Video. I have not watched it. If you want me to watch it and do a reaction, let me know in the comment section below. It has 203,000 views. It's not getting very many views. It's not doing very well. So, um, oh, <laughs> let's see. Where is that? I don't see where the video is where she's addressing the, uh, the toilet paper thing. Somebody said, or she said, <laughs> she, who said she said? Address, oh, here it is on her vlog, addressing the toilet paper situation 23 hours ago, and it has 51,000 views, and it's 8 minutes and 45 seconds. I probably won't be watching that video. I might be. No. I won't be. I got booktube videos to watch. Anyway, let me know what you think about all of that in the comment section below. I love you guys. Let me know why you think that Trisha Paytas won't stop coming for uh, Jaclyn Hill. And now, what do you think about Jaclyn Hill's response to it? Anyway, I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.